Hello. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up, everybody? What's up, everybody? It's your boy O'Shea. With a quick one hour to hour and a half minute show. Glad to you people who were waiting on me here. I wanted to have a show that had a little bit of participation on Mother's Day. Again, shout out to everybody. Hashtag ADOS family. That's in the building. I definitely appreciate you being on here. I know some people are out enjoying Mother's Day with their moms, grandmas. <laughs> some of you niggas is out with chicks that you think that's your baby mama, but she not. <laughs> but that is another story, man. Um, again, I want to shout out to everybody again who's here. Before we get into the topic today, I want to talk about uh, the Vi show. And a project that we have been collaborating on, I have a new brand, if you will, called Kinganda. And we have been producing for the Advice Show some public interviews with our team out in Kampala, Uganda. I want to give a special shout out to them. And recently we did a video called Are Black Americans Really African? And the comment section over there is really interesting, to say the least. Almost 60% of the comments, in my opinion, like 30 to 40% of the people were like very excited about you know, Africans wanting to extend their olive branch to black Americans to come over to Africa, right? We know there's an issue between African Americans and, and Africans in America. We we know that is the truth, right? Nobody would, you know, at least there's a little tension. We know that. It's been going on for years. But so many people were saying, we are not them. They are Hamites. Hamites is who they are. Um, now I mean I, I've used that term since it was introduced to me, uh, since it's been in the Bible, I believe. I think George was the first person I actually ever heard say that personally. I've heard of Hamite before, but I never really said it. But I guess what Hamite means is that they come from the, the original, they are the original tribe of Africa, and we are from, I don't know, the ADOS people. We are the Shemites. I don't know, man. My, my Israel biblical history is a little off. But what I get is, is that the Negro people of America, many of them feel we are not them. They are not us. Now, let me get into some conspiracy theories. Some some people um, believe, shout out to Professor MGTOW, we are Israelites and Africans are our enemies. I've never heard of this particular brother before, but shout out to Professor MGTOW. Okay, thank you, brother, for, I'll make sure I subscribe to you. Um, some people will say that, all right, this argument is because Africans are not doing very well on the continent. Therefore, to separate ourselves from them, we are going to say that they are from Ham and we are from Shemite. Some people may say, well, it's because Africans don't want anything to do with us. But some people just feel that, hey, you know, Africans and African-Americans are just different altogether. We're not the same. We don't think the same. Um, some people believe we are the same. I'm not going to lie, man. When I go to Africa, me personally, right? And I'm going to open up the calls in a minute. Matter of fact, call into the queue right now, right? 646-668-2519. If you call in right now, okay, everybody can talk. You can debate this issue with me until the rumble starts. 
You're going to educate me tonight. So right now we have absolutely zero calls in queue. But I, I, I'm a little I'm a little confused on this. Um, when I go to Africa, uh, I believe that there's no way that we did not come from there. And I'll be going to, you know, I've been to South Africa, East Africa, not West Africa. My opinion is I see people who look just like me. I see a lot of the same shit that we do that they do. I'm like, we so much removed from Africa, but we got so much in common, right? So that's, that's just me. But some people say that we were actually, we're, we are from America. We actually are the original American people. We are the Native Americans. We are aboriginals, right? I know I'm getting on my Dane. Shout out to Dane Calloway. He does that. Uh, shout out to some of the brothers out in the conscious community. You know, they're more on that. But 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 what are we, people? Are we the Hebrew Israelite people? Somebody said that the Ebos are really the Hebos or Hebrew people. We know that a lot of us came from over there. And then some people are going to also argue, well, how can you be all Israelite? It's impossible. Look at the mixtures. You had slaves coming from Ghana. You had slaves coming from Nigeria. You had slaves coming from Angola. Then you got mixed up with the white man because you got that European DNA in you. Right. Then you have slaves coming from Senegambia. You got mixed up in there with Liberia. All of those people cannot be Israelite. So how are the Negro people 100 percent Israelite when you have all of these different mixtures? You got that white in you. Right. A lot of African-Americans got at least I think the average is like 15 percent. European DNA. Then you got, you know, some of the Angolas was in there, too. Right. Then you got the Nigerian, you know, or, or you know, your, you know, Yorubas, they went down. A lot of them people, they was out in Brazil and some of the Spanish places. But then you got some of your Hebrew people. You got some of your Senegambia. You got your you, you got you got that 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 Togo Benin. OK, are all of those people from Israel? How would the white man know he was taking everybody from Israel? And send them to America. So, you know. How can the African Americans just strictly be 100% Israel? It don't make sense. So I'm looking for you to answer this question today. What are we? Now we got not today NSA. I don't know why the hell he called in on this topic, but we, uh, we'll talk to him. But all right, 407. All right, I see you not today NSA, but who's going to call in, right? Is this like Black Falcon Black? Is this a Negro mythology? Is this another way for Black Americans to say that they are they are a unique group, but they can't prove it? So who's going to call into the show? Let me know. The number is 646-668-2519. I will start taking calls when we get up to seven callers in the queue. Right now, we have only three. So I am waiting on the rest of you brothers and sisters to call in. Let me do this real quick. Um, let's do a little bit of a vote. Shout out to Brother Clockwork. For those of you who think you are Israelite, type it in the chat. We're going to take a tally. For those of you who think you are African, shout out to Dr. Carl, professor. No one's holding you back. This year. You're good to go. Well, that was shout, shout out to our attorney. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have Keyboy DFS. We are Wakandans. Negro, did you clean out that that that, that uh, motherfucking garage? I don't have time for your shit today. Clean that damn garage up, nigga, before you call any motherfucker. You know that that all them boxes you got in the background, nigga. All right, shout out to my brother though, out of, out of San Francisco area, I believe. All right, we got. Demarcus, what's the number? The number is on the actual thing. 648-646-668-2519. That's the number, my brother. Black or love, I'm African. All right. David Johnson, I'm an Israelite. 
B Dub says I'm Israel. I'm at global. I'm African. Why well, said I'm both? Damn. Love life. I'm 85% African, 13% Europe. No Israel. Nelson Amadeus. Thank you, JB, brother JB. Israel. Professor McTow in the queue. What's your area code, brother? Uh, Professor McTow. Consult mutual benefit concept. I'm African. Mr. Printona, I'm a nigger, pure and simple. You, you damn sure look like one. Okay. Michael Swint. We are Israelites. So black people come from three main lineages. The Aboriginal Americans are already here. Europe and the West Coast of Africa. Thank you, my brother. Lucky Roxy, I'm an American. All right. So let me do this. You brothers and sisters call in. Educate me. I'm confused. I don't know what the fuck I am, but, but confused. I'm black and confused on the topic, my brother. So let's go ahead here. I'm going to plug my iPhone up. We are going to have this discussion before the Sunday Rumble. We're going to have a hell of a show. Dealing with you Negroes tonight, as I, I usually do. So, let me get everything set up. Let's see what we got. And let's go to area code 305. Not today. I see you. We're going to get to you, BMT. I see you there. Hello, you on the air with O'Shea. What's up? Hello, hello. Hey, you can hear me on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a uh, who's this, Professor Mictow? Professor Mictow, brother, what's happening? What's going on with you? I'm doing pretty good, brother. Let me see if they can hear you, brother. Can you hear this brother on the line, everybody? If you're on the line, let me know. Can you hear the brother talking? Okay, let me see if they hear you, brother. Can y'all hear him? One second, my brother. Let me see if they can hear you. Can y'all yeah, hear some people brother? say they can hear yeah, me? They can see you here. All right, brother, go ahead on. Appreciate the people. What's going on, family? Well, man, it, it, you know, the, this is a very complex topic right here, but it pretty much is the root of a whole lot of topics that we speak on. You guys can still hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you, brother. Okay. There's two things I want to say. First, I believe we are Israelites based off the scriptures, Deuteronomy, and Deuteronomy 28. But here's the thing. There's a huge deception. Uh, that a lot of people don't understand in America. First of all, there wasn't 100 million slaves brought over from Africa. They actually took slaves from America and took them there. So we were indigenous to America already. So they whitewashed the Indians and put these $5 Indians in place. So you think that you were from Africa and they were originally here. And the reason why they would do that, if you say, why would they do that? the benefits that the Native American has today. They have tax-free land. They get money. They get up to some get over to 10000 a month just for being Indian. And on top of that, they have the right to police themselves. So if they were able to whitewash a small percentage of Indians and not tell African Americans that you were indigenous to this land, then that's benefits that we're not getting. And we talk about reparations and stuff, but do you understand America would lose more money giving you the same benefits that Indians have rather than just giving us free money for reparations. If we had the ability to police ourselves, mm -hmm. if we were allowed to be tax-free, mm -hmm. that in itself would make more of an impact against American money than it would to actually pay us reparations. So that's the first deception. We have to understand that we were indigenous to this land. And even Martin Luther King knew that, which is the real reason why he was killed. So. This is the first thing we got to discuss. And secondly, we, and if you look into the Bible at Deuteronomy 28, it explains the curses. For example, there are verses that says, children are the oppressors. Of my people, children are the oppressors, and women rule over them. What other community besides the black community can we see women ruling over their children and children oppressing the communities? We can go through a whole bunch of scripture because it would take it would take a whole damn year to discuss this topic. But I just wanted to give that little piece. And if you guys got any questions, we can go a little bit further. But we are Israelites, and we also are indigenous to this land. And that for the first, why would they say Indian people, not African or not uh, so-called Israelites or so-called African Americans? It's because of what I said. If we all had the right to police ourselves, do you know how much money they would lose? Do you know what that would do to America? 
See, a lot of blacks would rather have $10,000 a month in reparations. I would rather be able to police ourselves and have tax-free land because we will make that money here when they not show us as the enemy on a news television to show us as thugs and criminals. Now they have to do it to somebody else. And who would they do it to? White America. So just shutting down prisons, if we can police ourselves, shutting down prisons, being able to shut down a lot of police stations, they can't arrest us. We would just cripple this country. And that's the two biggest deceptions, that we are not African and that we are indigenous to this land as Israelites. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, brother. Well, let me ask you this then, because you know, I've, uh, have you been? Have you ever been to Africa before? Yes, my sister is in the lease, and I've stayed in Senegal for thirteen months. Okay, so you were there for thirty. Wow, you were there for a long time. So, uh, what what did you say that um the origins of the people who were Aboriginal that you're saying that are in America? Do those people have a lineage to Africa? In your opinion, you, you uh, repeat the question. You said the people who are indigenous, yeah, who I say are indigenous Israelites yeah. to America, do they have origins to Africa? Yes, I believe we had origins everywhere. Okay, we, we, the Israelites were the first people on the planet, but they whitewash and move people around because that's one of the greatest deceptions that the so called white man does. He can take you, we, we look at how they, um, you know, how they gentrify no, uh, our neighborhood. Well, white man been gentrifying the whole damn country, moving people all around, all over the earth. So we were everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, brother. Well, let me let me do this because you, you you make some strong points, brother. Let me uh, go ahead on and, uh, and and stay on the line for those people who want to uh, <laughs> um, uh, 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 challenge his points. Not today, NSA. I'm curious what you got to say. Shout out to Not Today, NSA. What's going on, family? Hello. What's what's going on? What's going on? Hello. Oh. Uh, All right. Look, look, you got a, a a little bit of an issue going on with your phone out today, but let me let me let me bring on a uh, four oh seven.
Hey, man, it's something else. All right. Can you guys see me now? I don't know what happened, man. I had everything popping off. But can you guys see me now? All right, hold on a second, man. White man will hold me back, nigga. Can we, y'all see me? Man, this white man was holding nigga back, man. All right, let me, let me see what we got, man. All right, hold on. Let me go back to 407. 407, you here? Hold on a second. God damn. Let me see if we can go. Okay, yeah. All right, all right, all right. 407, 407, 917, 407. What's up, brother? What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, man, the white man was trying to hold me back, my brother, but I'm glad. Not much. What up? What up, Dina Rao? What up, baby? <laughs> Good to see you. What up, my brother, Stefan? Yeah, man, the white man tried to hold me back. You know what I'm saying? But he can't hold me down, no. Y'all don't leave. Come on back. What's up? What's up, baby? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? You there? All right. Oh, Shay. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wrap to me, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of these guys are going to get angry. Okay. Um, and that's because it's the truth that right, right. black people don't want to be African. So... Let's examine what the previous caller said. Hold on, now, let's yeah, just let me, use logic. Let me ask you he said question. that Israelite. Why do you say mm -hmm. that black people don't want to be African? No, I'm, mm -hmm. Can you deal with that? No, no, I'm, let's talk, but what, you said black people don't want to be African. Why do you say that? Because for the past 150 years, 200 years, Africans have been the joke of cruel stereotypes. Primitive, eat people, no civilization. You know, all all the you know all these general tones right and you know what's interesting is that um there's a rock newman show that he did with dr renoka rashidi and, I, and i'm sure you you're familiar with him yeah, and this was done this year the PhD, and the PhD guy, dr. and dr rashidi and rock newman said that when they were growing up one of the worst insults you could be called was african right okay in america growing up calling someone african was considered an insult African booty scratcher. I got called that one too, brother. Hello. No, 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 no. I'm talking just saying you're an African. Af anything associated with Africa was considered an insult okay. during the times Dr. Rashidi and uh, Rock Newman were growing up, according to them. Okay. That was considered a general insult. Okay. So we see that, you know, there's this disdain for Africa amongst black people. And I, I'm, I'm just not going to put it on African Americans. There's even Africans in the continent. We, we don't we don't like who we are because of how we've been portrayed, okay. right? Okay. So now you have people saying that. Um, so let's examine the previous caller. He said that the slave trade happened in reverse and that we're actually indigenous to America. How are you indigenous to America and an Israelite? And you're using the Bible to prove your point. If we're using the Bible, the Bible takes place in Africa. Egypt, there's no Egypt in America. So how can you go to Egypt in America? The Hebrews allegedly went to Egypt, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how are you an Israelite and you're saying you're indigenous to America? How can these ideologies don't make sense when you actually pick apart what they're saying, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you're an Israelite, but you're not African, except for the fact that you guys went to Egypt, which is in Africa. So you're saying you sailed from America crossed the Sahara Desert, and went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. That, O'Shea, come on, man. Come on. Uh, all right, come on. Let me ask come you on this. now. Let me ask you come this. on now. Let me ask you this, because you made some good points. I'll bring the other brother on in a minute, but let me let me ask you this, brother. He said, he's saying that black people were not just indigenous, um, you know, in Israel or whatever, but everywhere, omnipresent. That's what he's saying. What do you say about that? Uh, there's definitely some validity to that because you know the out of Africa theory black people were the first humans we, we're the ones that populated the earth so you see the Australians um, the, the native Indians the dark skinned ones right okay. um, the Southeast Asians the really dark skinned ones okay. um, so the phenotype of the black man is indigenous because we were the first ones to populate these areas of the planet, right? Okay. That doesn't mean that you specifically, as an African American, are indigenous to America. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Be because, like, it's it contradicts everything he just said. Like everything the caller previous, and I'm just I'm not trying to harp on him. 
but I have to go off what he said. So what he contradicted himself like three or four times in his whole um in his whole argument. Okay, okay. Let me let me do this. Hold on. You callers in the uh in the, in the, in the who's this Judas stand up? Shut up! Get your motherfucking ass out my chat room. Don't you tell me to get another fucking caller. And don't you niggas in the goddamn chat tell me who to bring on the goddamn show. All right? People who own the show are here. Shut the fuck up on my channel. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. In there looking like, who is this motherfucker any goddamn way? Get another caller. You in here looking like a black Ric Flair. Better take your woo looking ass out of here, bitch. Bring your ass in here looking like a black honky tonk man telling me to get another caller. Shut your motherfucking ass up. You come in here, I don't give a fuck what your goddamn name is. You shut up in my goddamn chat room. You don't pay no goddamn blog talk radio bills, bitch. I pay them. You get your dusty ass out of my goddamn chat room. My bad, brother. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and bring this other brother on here that was uh, disagreeing with you. Let me see if the black MGTOW brother is on here. Um, he, 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 he hung up, I think. Well, let me see if the brother was still on. Um... Brother 407, uh, uh, let me let me go to uh, Not Today NSA. All right, Not Today NSA, you were on a little bit earlier. You there, brother? All right, not Today NSA, what's going on? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, yeah, sorry about that. I'm here now. What's going on, brother? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's on? What's up? What's up? Uh, nothing much. Uh, this uh, Black Israel light kind of sad, though, because it's so obviously untrue. I mean, if, if you want to look on a map where black people are from, you just go south of the Sahara, and pretty much every scientist on the planet will agree with you, that's where black people are from. And now I'm using the scriptures to say that black people are Israelites. If you actually read the scripture, you'll find out that the tribes of Israel became Christians after Jesus Christ. And only a few of these so-called Jews that remain, that rejected Jesus Christ, they fled the area, and then when the Muslims eventually conquered Jerusalem and all that, they were completely kicked out. And that's why Jews weren't in uh, Jerusalem for about a couple hundred years until like the 1880s. But anyways, the only Jews that survived were in northern Turkey, and those were the Ashkenazi Jews, and they eventually spread through Europe. If black people were actually Jewish, they would have a lot more symbolism where they're actually from, which is south of the Sahara. And I just don't think there's any evidence on that. And I know a lot of people try to say that black people are indigenous to all these other places, but it's just, it's just not true. And it kind of makes you guys look silly. And if you really want to know what the first like black people were like, when the Arabs, the Romans, and the Europeans first arrived, they all recorded what they saw there. They all maintained documents. The Romans did the same things when they first walked into modern-day Germany. They detailed how they were living. Like, when the Romans first walked into Germany, the Germans didn't even have a, a, a natural city yet. They didn't have a single city. And so Romans detailed everything specifically. But uh, not to the NSA, let me ask Anyways, you. I'm getting long-winded. The, 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 the argument is not that all black people are from Israel. That's why there's a term called Hamite and Shemite or whatever. That's not what they're saying. What they're saying is there are certain groups of blacks that are from the tribe of Israel. We, we know that to be true because the Ethiopians are uh, considered Israelites. Even the white Israelites went and got them out of Sudan when they were traveling from Ethiopia uh, to the uh, uh, trying to get to Israel. When stuck in Sudan, they made a deal. We also know that there are Igbo Jews in Nigeria. So there are certain sects of blacks that have been recognized as being the original people. Are uh, of Israel. Even the white Israel's Israelites have said that there's over three hundred thousand Ethiopian Jews living in in Israel now. Hmm. Well, I. Well, you know, I'm not black, and I'm not a big fan of Jewish people in general, so I can't say I've done as much research as I probably should. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me do this. Let me uh let me stay on the line because uh, there's going to be people that want to talk to you. So let me uh let me uh. uh I actually got. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm going to come right back to you real quick. Let, let me go to uh, 843. 843. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Sage? What's going on? Much, much peace and blessings to y'all. What's going on? Um, yeah, man. This this black Hebrew Israelite thing, I got to say, I got to say it's bogus. It's not real. Um, usually, whenever I talk to them, because mind you, 
I've been in the military and I've been in quite a few competitions and wars. And I always ask them, if y'all truly believe that y'all the chosen ch- children of God and all this stuff, why ain't y'all in the whole land fighting? I, I, I always ask them that. I'm like, if y'all truly believe that y'all ordained God and that y'all conquerors, I see y'all out there in the ghettos and the slums on speaker boxes and stuff wearing Jordans and wearing like these colorful dress up clothing and stuff and, and looking crazy and shit. I'm like, y'all fighting over the hood. Y'all ain't fighting over no holy land. Y'all ain't trying to take back no country. I see the the, the stadiums, the I see the Iraqis, I see everybody fighting over the holy land, but I don't see this so called black Hebrew fighting for the holy land. So I'm like, holy shit, but not because when I was over there, I didn't see no no dude. Your phone is breaking up a little bit, brother. What's going on with your phone? What did you say? Yeah, your phone is breaking up a little bit, brother. No, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, but your um your phone is breaking up a little bit. Yeah, can you hear me now? I hear you now better. Yes, sir. Okay, so when I was I'm saying when the time I've been over there, mm-hmm. I've never seen these black Hebrews put in the work on trying to take back their so-called father's land or holy land. Mm-hmm. Granted, the Bible is no more than just a book of historical legacy and facts of things that these, the, the so-called chosen people feel is documented to be true. So I'm like, where's your book? Because you did not write the Bible. If, you know what I'm saying? If you truly wrote the Bible, then show me your documented textbook. Because everybody overseas can document the Israelites, but you don't come up, Negro. You don't ever come up in the book, except a few times. And the most times you come up is as a slave. So I'm like, why ain't y'all over there fighting back and taking back your shit? Okay. So, so then let me ask you this. Do you think that, that, uh, that, that, that our people, the ADOS people, are we um, African lineage or are we Israelite lineage? African. You're African. African. Okay. You are close. You are African. You are you are you are 120 percent African. You are not no Israelite. But ain't nobody ain't nobody ain't nobody from the Hebrew ain't nobody from the Hebrews. Mind you, um you can look it up uh the story of Joseph. Joseph was at the time in charge of Egypt because Pharaoh um gained gave him favor. See, that was the first deal really realistically that happened that was documented with the Hebrews, if you want to look it up, with Joseph and his brothers, when they sold him into what? Slavery. Remember? Okay. They sold him into slavery okay. to the Pharaoh. And when that happened, he was in jail. He got out and he took over mm-hmm. and giving out food and he rose up the ranks in Egypt. Now, if you want to go from there, the other, the other time that they talk about uh, blacks was uh, Moses during the time of Egypt when he married an African woman when he fled from Pharaoh's house. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And he married a black woman and he made moves and he, you know what I'm saying, he branched out. Mind you, get this, the children of Israel were treating his wife and his family because she had dark skin like she was, like she was different or she was an animal. And they, and God cursed, God cursed his, um, his brother and sisters because of how they were making fun of, of Moses' wife. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait a second. If y'all were, if, if, if if y'all are the norm, black people are the normal Israelites. Then why would they make fun of Moses' wife, who was a dark skinned Israelite? You see what I'm saying? That you, she wouldn't be. She would be normal. Okay. Okay. So why would you make fun of? Go ahead. You see what I'm saying? That makes no sense. Okay. So I'm. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, so when y'all, there, that's why I said there's holes in this because the times where Israelites. And blacks have mixed, which they, is not unusual. They do not accept you, or they really don't count you as really of their flock. Like Moses had went out of his people to go find his wife. You know what I'm saying? The other time you can also look at it in history was Abraham. Abraham had went outside of his marriage and slept with the concubine. Where did the concubine go down to? She went down to doggone Egypt. That's what the God told God told her to go down to Egypt. And they ma- they became nomads. Now that is as far back as it goes when we start talking about this stuff. If you want to find Noah's gravesite or where his people are buried, it's in Afghanistan. So you're talking about the Eden's um, the, the the circle of life 
it's, it's around the Black Sea. Okay. Now, it's not unusual for blacks to, from blacks to travel to, uh, from the Middle East and up, up there, but these black Israelites, no, they have no stake or claim in the Holy Land. But if that was the case, I would ask them, tell me what is your father's lineage, if you can go back like that. Okay, okay. Let they me... can't. They don't have no stake or claim. Okay, let me let me let me do this. We got 15 callers in queue. Let me go ahead on the shout out, man. We got. Uh, I'm gonna have to make this a wonderful topic today, man. Part two. All right, let me do this, man. Let me shout out to all the people because uh, this this topic got everybody. Uh, 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 I wasn't even gonna do it, man, but I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead on and and get it popping. Let me shout out to the people um, that are that are in the building. Make sure that you brothers uh, like the video and the sisters. Uh, brothers in here, like the video, share the motherfucking video. Uh, we need to get the likes up. But let me uh, shout out to the people in the super chat, if we can. Uh, Professor MGTOW, Revelations 291. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Nana Welbeck, happy paternity test day. David Johnson, Kwam Yashara, Allah, ha, ha, I, I, I don't want to mess it up. Stefan Kling Skills. What up? What up? All star. You can't be from two continents. That's not a nationality. Israelite equals a descendant from the chosen one. I'm Hebrew Israelite. Lick Dodge. Black Americans are Israelites, not Africans. Marcus Love. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. O'Shea the Great. I'm American variant of mostly African descent. Michael R. Swint. We are Israelites. I'll talk about Nelson Nemedias. Thank you so much. Carl, thank you so much. All right. Let me go back to the callers, man. Y'all enjoying the show? Get the likes up here. Uh, let me go. We have a lot of un unidentified callers. Let me go to this private caller here. Private caller, you're now on the air. What's going on? Hello, hello. What's going on, Austin? What's up? What's up? What's, what's going up? on, Austin? You know what it is. What's going on, brother? Hey, look here, man. I'm not gonna get too deep in it because I have not studied that greatly in it. But now I have read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. And if you sit there and you read that. And especially when it get down to the part where it talks about being 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 sailed out, being sailed out on ships. Who did that sound? Look at you have to ask yourself, who did that who did that sound like? As a matter of fact, on one of the maps of Egypt, on one of the maps of Egypt, right there in the bottom part of Egypt, it it's actually called Israelite. Uh, Israelite or he or Hebrew. And what on one of those maps because I've read it, uh, I've seen it before, seen a documentary I've done on it. And now let's look at this right here. Um, a guy called in talking about Egypt. Look, the term Egypt in the Bible is also referred to as being in bondage. So being in Egypt itself is not necessarily, was not necessarily, it was one of the places that the Hebrew Israelites was in bondage for a while. But the word Egypt is actually symbolism, uh, symbolism of bondage. Now, um, now going back down to what I think is BMG said, um, look here. In Africa, not all those Africans accept the other Africans. You have different tribes that don't accept the other tribes. So that's not to say just because the skin color that makes that the skin color is what defines what it is it's not the skin color it's who god chose as his people and now another note let me throw out another note on this another note to throw out on this is look when you look out throughout the bible you have to ask yourself who stayed in trouble with god the most is seen his own people. Mm -hmm. Now, can't we as a can't we as American can't we as a uh, uh, the American Negro cannot we see that um, correlation? Does not it seem like in America we are always at the bottom? Mm -hmm. No matter how hard we get try to make it out, we always get knocked back down. Does that does that does, does that not seem to be the case? But now, and, and here's, the, here's the other thing about it. Even in captivity, the Israelites was actually doing better in a lot of cases than the people who had, had them captive. 
does not that seem like us too in a lot of cases look when you left us leave us alone to our own um devices if you will and i have to bring up places like um Rosewood, florida places like black wall street and the like. when we were left alone for our own we, we were left alone to our own devices did we not do well as a matter of fact we've done so well to where we was hated and despised for it and actually the communities were destroyed. Mm-hmm. The, the, the not look at now. I ain't, look. I ain't the brightest bulb in the pack, mm-hmm. but I do shine. A, but I do shine a little bit. Well, when you have and, one I can, of, and I can when you have one that foil suit. That you, what that, that foil suit that you wore to your twenty year uh, homecoming reunion? But that's another story. Go ahead on. I ain't mad at that because guess what? The moon, the, look at it. the moonlight reflects off, uh, li- reflects off of um, aluminum. <laughs> you heard me? Okay. Nah. And look at that's look. That's all I have to say about that right there, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, so- I appreciate you here. I appreciate y'all listening. Okay. Now that's some good points. Some good points. All right. All right. All right. That's Methuselah that just called in from the old high school. He went to high school with uh, Goliath. Uh, before he got hit with the slingshot. Uh, next private caller, you on the air. Private caller, next person. What's going on with your brother or sister? Oh, what's going on, Big O'Shea? What's the deal with you? What's up, what's up, what's up um, Barry White? I wanted to, uh, what's going on? I, I, I wanted to call in and make a, a quick comment. Um, you know, it, the whole subject is, you know, is, is, is it African or is it Israelite? Okay. Um, I think people, you know, we study first. All all the people that believe that, because I do believe that we are Israelites and whatnot, but all the people that believe that, believe that based um, solely on the prophecies. Because in the Bible, the, the true children of Israel, uh, the Bible talks about how they will be stripped of their identity, right? Mm-hmm. And when you, when, you go, when you go and you look at the curses, see the curses, or the or what would happen if if Israel was in transgression uh, to God, it would be a certain specific group of curses to identify these people, like the the uh, the Ashkenazi and the Sephardic and the um the the Abyssinian Jews and these different people. According to the Bible, the true children shouldn't know who they are because due to our transgressions or due to the transgressions at that time. God took his name from his people. He said, the only how you would know my people is by the social, the cultural, the spiritual, and the ec- economic condition that they would be in um, scattered throughout the countries. Mm-hmm. And the reason why it's such confusion with the, with the African thing or the Israelite thing is because when Israel was kicked out the land and he took his name, so he took the Benjamite and the Judah and the Levi and these different tribal identities, Israel then um, tr- amalgamated into the Igbo and the the Yoruba and these different things. Like Israel wasn't walking around Africa as you know, knowing who they were. We we have we went into these identities. Like if you do any research on the slave trade, if you look at Venture Smith, Kujo Lewis, uh, any of the people that that wrote biographies about that, that made it through the Maafa, that made it through the slave trade, and they wrote their identities. They came over as those groups. They came over as the the tribal identities in West Africa. And wh- what happened was when they got over here, all that was stripped. So those, so now today, people are no longer African, meaning that you're no longer of an identity of a of a person of a, of a tribal identity from Africa. Okay. And if you if you read the book, uh, it's a it's a book called Barracoon. It's about Kujo Lewis, right? And he talked about he was one of the last people to come over here on, on a cargo slave ship. And he came from uh, he came from a clan in Yoruba land, right? He talked about when he came over here that the people, the black Americans that had been over here a few generations, made fun of him for being a Yoruba. Like that was, you know, it was like you know it, the the the, the anti Africanness or whatever you want to call it, the anti African identity thing. That's always been a part of black American culture. But I think the reason why. Is because if you look at the like the Afro Brazilians, mm-hmm. those people 
went back to Africa and they were, you know, they went back to Lagos and the yeah, 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 and yeah. Porto, Porto Novo. Yeah. They, they went back to these different societies and they reintegrated back into being into those, into those different cultures. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think that the reason why it had to be a thing, because cause the Bible, the Bible actually talks about that the, the children, the captivity, the people that are scattered throughout the nations, where it would be envy and jealousy and hatred towards the remnant of Israel that is left in Africa in the Middle East. It talks about that in the Bible. He talks about that when he he when he gathers his people, which he's going to gather the people, the scattered people first. Uh, us this cat that has no um that have been scattered. He told me that he's going to get rid of that animosity and that hate. But the reason why I think that, that it has to be it had to be a people that was stripped completely of all that. Is because if I if, if if Oshay if that never happened and you were still and wherever your ancestry came from and I came to you and said that you was an Israelite, mm-hmm. but you have a, you have a material culture, so it's gonna be it when if I come to you and, and you walking around with a a, a, a a Irish person name or a Welsh person name or an Anglicized Portuguese name and you look at these curses, it would be easier for you to 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 be brought back into being an Israelite if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes sense yeah, because, like, sense, see, you would know it, by those, we had to, those we had to be stuff. stripped, mm-hmm. right? Because he, with the, with, when the Afro Brazilians see, they went back and just went back into being, you know, Yorubas and all that type of stuff. But the Bible talks about that he will eventually bring his people back into that identity of being the Israelite, because when he and, and he gonna take a people, you know, in a condition in a, in, a, in basically in a grave, you know how we're. Um, you know, ne- Negro men attacking Negro women, you know, completely destroy families, uh, filling up the prisons, you know, more black men in prison um, than, you know, all women in the world uh, at the bottom of a society. You know, all the stuff that ADOS puts out, all the information, um, the whole world star hip hop, all this, the condition that we in as a people that the Bible specifically talks about. Imagine him taking you know, you know, when you say you're from Nutty Block, right? Imagine him taking the niggas from Nutty Block, right? And putting that people up and making them number one because God always took, he took, he took, we say, taking, taking little things, taking like uh, David versus Goliath. Mm-hmm. So he's going to take a lost people. He's going to take a dead people. He's going to take a people that are at the bottom, that are, that are just completely dead and in the grave and make them his, his remnant, make him, make, my bad, make him his, their, uh, his representation on the earth. So I'm going to make you a righteous people, a moral people, a people of integrity, a people of, uh, of valor and all this stuff. And the other nations will look to this people for guidance on how to live on the earth. So that's the thing about it. When you look at the Jews or the, all these people that are claiming to be Israel, the Jews are not at the bottom. The Jews are, are, uh, are really, a, a, a you know, a, a successful people, you know, they 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 practice group economics, and if you look at us, and, and it's and it's more so us than the Jamaicans and the Haitians and the different people scattered because some of the places that we were scattered to, we weren't able to sin or to go as low as a people as we have went in America. You know what I mean? So that's why it's like with certain things, you know, you have to kind of look, you have to kind of look at the Bible and look at what the Bible says because. Is really is you really can piece it together, you know what I'm saying? Because when you look at even if you look at Africa, right? It's certain people that are that are uh, other dark people, but they come from a completely different lineage of people. If you look at the the Nilotics, the uh, the people that Manute Bo and uh, what's the what's the other young lady, um, Lupita Nyong'o, these are different people genetically, uh, lineage wise. Uh, the Berbers, the you know, they're different people. The uh, the Chadic speakers, you know, some of your Fulani. And Halsey people, these are all different people. Your sand people, some of your South Africans, these are all a different lineage of people. Even though they have black skin, they're a different people. You know what I mean? So so it's like the Bible, if, if you really study it, I pieced all this together through Wikipedia, you know, being a Wikipedia scholar. So it, it, it makes sense if you really look at it. It's, it's not that um, that we that, that black Americans were not African, so to speak, because at one time that we were Mende, and Mandingo and these different ethnicities, but all that had to be stripped and and to uh, to eventually bring us back into being Israelite. Because God said that, okay, I'm gonna take my name from you, kick you out the land. We we sojourn a thousand years, you know, making it, you know, 
from Northeast Africa, and this is also something you can look at, because if you look at a lot of groups that, that, that um, are on the west coast of Africa, they claim to have come from Northeast Africa at one time or come from further northeast on the Sahara. And due to, you know, famine and war and fight over territory, people begin to migrate down into the forest region. And eventually when the slave trade popped off, because people don't understand that Israel had to migrate somewhere where it was it was culturally isolated. That's why if you look at it, read anything about the slave trade, a lot of people have a misconception that it was that you know that they were sold out as uh, as Black America, like okay, like Black America was in Africa, and then the Africans over there sold the Black Americans over here, and that's not how it worked. You know what I mean? So it's like if you really go and study, it it really makes perfect sense because the Bible bears witness to this. It's, it's only a, it's only a handful of people that have been took into slavery on cargo slave ships, so we can narrow it down. And it's only a handful of people whose cities look like uh, like the Third World. Me being from Detroit, Michigan. You know, the Bible, Leviticus 26, talk about how, you know, we would be falling by the sword, you know, dying in the streets. We would fall before our idols. Um, it talks about how, you know, our highways and byways would be desolate. You know, our, you know, it, it talks about how the community would look. It talks about how, you know, me being, you know, the Lebanese, you know, that they the main people that, that run all the businesses in Detroit. It talks about how the foreigners, the strangers will be in your communities selling to you and you won't sell to them. It, I mean, it, it talks about our condition word for word, you know what I'm saying? So it's only one people that fit this condition. And if you really do the, do the research, the, the, the unbiased research, you're going to see who, who it is and everything that the Bible said has come to pass for us. So like I said, I won't take up too much of your time. I, I thank you for taking my call. All right. All right. Now you made some good points, brother. Thank you for calling in. Uh, man, we got some powerful callers tonight. Let me go to, uh, the, the next, um, Caller, which is also unidentified. Caller, you're on the air. What's going on, brother? Hello, how you doing, Sugar? Can you hear me? Yeah, it's Miss Nancy. Yeah, how you doing, Sugar? This Miss Nancy. How hey, you doing, Sugar? Happy Mother's Day, Miss Nancy. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you and your family as well. All right, how you doing, ma'am? Uh, what you got to say about this, Miss Nancy? I, 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 I wanted, I wanted to say I, I'm glad you made it. Back to Poland safe after after your trip to Africa, even though those hoes was was dodging you and you got in the fuck them bitches. But I'm just so glad you made it home safe. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. How you feel about this topic, though, Miss Nancy? All right. I, 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 this is how I feel, right? Now, I understand the Israelites say how uh, the black man is the original man, and I'll be seeing them niggas outside with the bull horns talking all loud and shit, hurting out white people. They make some good, they make you feel good, but a lot of them niggas is full of shit. Let me tell you why, because I know some nigga named on the internet, his name Brother Polite. Okay. Brother Polite be exposing those motherfucking Israelites. And then I know a uh, is, uh, Israelite personally. That nigga be talking all this white devil bullshit. And then when after he done finished preaching, this nigga go work for his boss, who's a white man, I'm like, nigga, you a hypocritical son of a bitch. Them niggas be talking all them shit about the white people, but then when they stop shouting at the white people, they take their punk ass back to the fucking job and work for the motherfucking white devil, you stupid motherfucker. And then them niggas be dressing up with them big ass WrestleMania belts and shit when they be preaching, saying, why you niggas don't dress like that all the time? Keep it real, motherfuckers. Them niggas full of shit. Them niggas don't do shit for the community. All them niggas do is, is, is find the motherfucking corner and get the preaching. That's all them niggas do. Them niggas full shit. Them niggas don't open up no motherfucking schools. Them niggas don't open up no goddamn black stores. All them niggas do is preach and motherfucking complain. See, like the nation Islam, the nation Islam, them niggas, they, they sell you bean pies. They open up mosques. They, they open up schools. The Black Panther, they was feeding children and all that good shit. The, the fucking Israelites, them niggas don't do shit. All them niggas do is preach. Them niggas ain't doing shit. That's all I wanted to say, sugar. Well, let me let me ask you this. Do you think that um <laughs> do you think that black Americans are uh are are is are, are, are Hebrew Israelite? Are we African? What's our lineage? Oh, we 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 a little bit of both. You gotta understand the black man is the original man, so we we could be we we a little bit of African, we a little bit of Israelites. We, we all this motherfucker because I understand the black man is the original man and the black man he spread his seed all over this goddamn world. 
Hannibal, he went to the motherfucking Italy, fucked all the Italian bitches. You know what I mean? The Moors, they went to Spain, fuck all the Spaniard bitches. So we everything. We everything. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I got to say about that. We a little bit everything. The motherfuckers say you more this, you more that. Hey, bullshit. We everything. All right, Miss Nancy, thank you for calling in. Uh, uh, <laughs> no doubt. You have a good day, sugar. All right, all right. Happy Mother's Day, Miss Nancy. <laughs> Man, all right. Let me go to 336 in the building. 336, uh, you on the air. What's going on? 336. Hey, hey, O'Shea. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, so uh, first I just wanted to call up and tell that white man called up talking all the South of the Sahara mess. It's not true. A lot of Africans were all over the Sahara. We're 300,000-year-old people, so we've been pretty much everywhere and, and did it all and done it all. Okay. The problem that I'm hearing is that there's a lot of, there's a lot of talk about uh, the Bible and all this, but people don't realize that the history is already there. You don't need to pick up your, your Bible to know this. There were so many Jews in West Africa, at one point they were kicked out. Um, the, the general of the Songhai Empire at the time was a staunch Muslim, and uh, he believed that kicking them out of the Jews out. and fought off her enemy, but she was also Jewish. Um, I use the term Jewish just as, you know, a term um, for simplicity. But um, there were Jews in West Africa, East Africa, there were some as far as Zimbabwe. Um, there is real history of African Jewish. And for the caller that called up and said that Hebrew Israelites didn't fight for Israel, there's actually, I think there was like three or 4,000 Hebrew Israelites that went to Israel and renounced their American citizenship and became Israeli citizens, and they actively fight in the Israeli army and the Israeli government. Just because these people believe in something that you don't believe in does not mean that they don't take it seriously and they're not actively uh, uh, taking part in, in what they, um, they subscribe to. So I wish people would actually do some real research. Um, you know, if, if, if you actually go and see the writing on the walls in Egypt and Sudan, and even in parts of Israel, you'll see that the African connection has always been there. Now, whether or not you need to be on the side of the corner screaming at people, yelling at people just because they don't um, subscribe to your, your belief system, you know, I don't agree with that because to me that's kind of pointless. You actually have to go to work and build your people. You know, to be truth be told, all this religion is a little bit of nonsense mixed in with it. So, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and look at somebody white and Jewish and say, hey, you're absolutely 100 percent correct. And then look at black Jewish people and say, no, well, your uh, your uh, uh, belief is somehow incorrect just because you're a black person. No, you just need to take it seriously and do good work with it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know. That's 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 all I have to say with it. But just look up into the real history. You know, there's African Jews, there's African Jews that sold into the slave trade. There were African Jews that were renouncing their religion and for for Islam. Um, there was recently at the Library of Congress the last known fully Muslim slave that was brought to the Americas that wrote his bio biography, and um, that actually had all three major religions were in West Africa. Mm -hmm. So much so that, uh, you know, this was, this was a, an already made thing. So that is, I just want to put my two cents in. No, sorry, white man, you were not Egyptian. Um, we were in the North North Africa, too. <laughs> so thank you, O'Shea. I appreciate calling up. Yeah, no problem, brother. No problem. Thank you again, man, for, for calling in, guys. And uh, we got a lot of people calling in. Uh, press one if you want to talk. So I know a lot of people have called in. Um, Shout out to 323 in the building, 254 206 404. 
310. There's another private caller. Uh, let me go to 305 741. 305, what's going on? 305, 305, player 305, 305. Oh, you talking about you talking about me as Professor Mictile. I'm 305. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. One one second. Let me uh let me get to uh I'm gonna come back to you, brother. Let me uh so many calls here. All right, let me get to the 949 number. 949, you're on the air. Hello. Yeah, what's going on, brother? Hello? Hello, yes. Hello, hello? Hello, hello. I'm here, brother. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm just calling in. Uh, again, you know, it's a very interesting topic. Okay. You know, uh, every now and then I got to set some of these Negroes right. <laughs> so they talking about they Hamites and Shemites and shit. Right, right. My number one question for these Negroes is, can they even speak Hebrew? Uh-oh. Can y'all even speak Hebrew? Uh oh. That's my that's my question, right? Because they talking about if African Americans or, or Israelites. You see, my, my problem with the black people is they don't got their eyes on the ball. They don't. They really don't have their mind focused on the ball. Like I was doing the numbers the other day, right? And black people, like just black people globally, were the third largest ethnic group on the face of the planet, which means we're like the third largest market on the face of the planet. Now, y'all are trying to create divisions amongst each other when we should be coming together. Now, I don't mean on some kumbaya nonsense. I'm talking about, like, financially. Because we all know that, you know, the problems that black people face globally is, you know, a lack of funds. Like, most of us are economically repressed, mm -hmm. right? So instead of creating divisions amongst ourselves, we should come together economically, meaning, okay, I'm going to buy from this guy and, you know, I'm going to buy from this guy and I'm going to sell to this guy amongst ourselves. We're the third largest ethnic group on the planet. Like we outnumber white people. We outnumber Latinos, but niggas don't want to come together. Like, I mean, if we all came together and spent money with each other, mm -hmm. you know, like we would be one of the richest and soon to be, because I mean, isn't Africa's population supposed to grow to like what, 2 billion or something? Yes. In like 50 years. But let me ask you this question, brother. So um, because some people will say, mm -hmm. all right, because you, you make a good point about, you know, you can't, we, you know, they can't speak any Hebrew lang lang languages. But let me ask you this. Do you feel that black people are African? Like the African-Americans? Do I feel like black people are African? Or do they come from? Bro, like, come on. That's, that, that's, O'Shea, you, you said it yourself. You said when you went out to Uganda and you saw how them people acted, you knew for sure we yeah. came from them people. You, know, that's me. you knew for yeah. sure. I, 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 you, you... I definitely believe that, me personally. Uh, but now, I, I, that doesn't mean that, um, the Israelite people don't have a point, but that's just my own interpretation. I don't know what happened in a lot of variation, but what someone might say that, well, you can't speak any African language. Just so what does that mean that you're not African? What would you say to that question? Man, that don't, that don't, that don't mean nothing. I mean, nowadays you got Google translate, you got African, you, it don't matter if you can't speak the language, but what matters is oh, how do you support each other financially? It really don't matter about, you know, because like, and, and you're acting like even even if you don't speak the language, you're acting like you can't learn the language. So it, that's not really a barrier. What really unites you as an African person is the genetic similarities that you uh, share. Because what black people don't realize is like white people mm. actually, <laughs> it blew my mind. Like white people are actually on code as a group. White people are actually on code as a group. Like I, I just thought about it. Like the regular, like the regular white man okay. literally supports white owned businesses. Like a white man supports, like the shirt a white man buys, he buys from a white man. The pants he buys, he buys from a white man. Uh, okay. the, the car he drives, he buys from a white man. You know. Uh, all right, let me let me ask you this then, because uh, with, with your point, they they could also rebuttal your particular statement by saying, okay, well, they could also learn the Hebrew language, and they have genetics, um, you know, uh, genetic uh, lineage to 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 Hebrews. And Israelite people too. I mean, what what would you say to that rebuttal? I mean, if it makes you feel good, but at the end of the day, if you keep separating yourself, you're still gonna be broke. So, I mean, if it makes you feel good that you know you you, you can now speak Hebrew and you know you can, I don't see the benefits of all that shit. Like at the end of the day, black I, I, people, I you just need saying. to create. I get what you're saying. Yeah, what, what you're saying overall is 
you separating yourself from other black people is is stupid to call yourself Hebrews when in fact black people should be trying to work together all around. Um exactly other groups work together all around. They don't separate themselves for the fact that for the most part I'm French or I'm uh German or I'm British. They they understand those things, yes, but they don't let mm-hmm. them be a reason as to why they can't do other things. Whereas blacks when we separate ourselves, mm-hmm. we kind of divide ourselves from doing things with other people of our, you know, that look like us. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying, because like black people keep forgetting like white folks literally like 75 years ago, like 85 years ago, they were all killing each other. <laughs> like they grandparents were shooting each other up, and, you know, like and they and they were able but they, they're able to put aside their differences because when it comes to your black ass, these white folks, the Germans, the French, they're able to put aside their differences to colonize your dumb ass. Like they're able to put aside all their all their beefs when it comes to you. And they and they're ready to colonize you. So why is it that we as black people we, we don't respond, you know, strategically? Like it it just don't make no sense. Like, I mean, what benefit? Like, okay, now you're a Hebrew. Now what? Where do we go from there? You know, where? Okay. Okay. Let me. Let me. Uh. Let me. Let me. Uh. Uh. uh do you, you make some some strong points? Let me do this. We have uh eighteen calls. Let me go to the brother here. Um. I'm. I'm actually. Uh. Two five four. I'm gonna come in a minute. But let me go to nine one four. He's been holding for thirty four minutes. Nine one four, brother. You're on the air. Uh. Well, O'Shea. What's going on, brother? How you doing tonight? Hello. Nine one four. Mm. All right. The moment we've been waiting for. Two five four. You are on the air. What's going on? What's going on, Oshie? Going on, everyone. Uh, we're, we're, brother, brother, brother. You're kind of far away. Can where you, you hear me? Yeah, but are, where are you at, brother? You in Kenya, right? Can you, can you hear me, Oshie? I, I I can hear you, man. But you sound like you 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 on the on the rooftop somewhere, brother. What's going on? What's going on, bro? I'm not on the rooftop because I'm calling from Nairobi, Kenya. That's why we don't have good internet over here. The white man is gonna help. He's holding me back to here. Okay, okay. So you you're a Kenyan? Yeah, I'm from Kenya. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for calling in, brother. What's going on? Yeah, for the uh, uh, everything is cool over here for the Hebrew Israelites. I think I think I think that doctrine is the easy doctrine to go down on here in Africa. You visited Africa and you saw how our people have been damned and all our people are asleep. They are busy sleeping in Christianity, worshiping a white Jesus. So when we introduced to them, you saw like I you see they had come into Africa, Sierra Leone. You saw how those people you saw how those children in that school how they embrace the fact that we had come to create a black Jesus, someone who looks like them. The concept of, of, of the black Hebrew Israelites is to, is to free the might of our people. Mm-hmm. To free the might of our people from the mentality that they, they're still looking up on a white savior to pop up out of the sky so that they can be saved, so that they can be brought out of the condition that they are in right now that's the problem however not all africans as we as we know not all africans are our people there are a lot of there are a lot of groups over three over three thousand tribes in africa today okay there are over three thousand tribes in africa today they are divided into three main groups they are future and they are Bantus and they are Nylons. I can guarantee you, Oshie, there is no Kushite and there is no Nylon who went on to slavery in slave ship. It's only one group. The white man has proven that. They have brought out books. There is books in the right line. They have said they were buying the only people they were saying they came from Zion. That's what they used to say. We want the ones who came from Zion. Who are the people who came from Zion? The people who have came from the mountains, from from the from the the west, from West Africa and those parts of the Jerusalem. God, you get it? Yes. So those are the people that went to uh, America, like my ancestors. Those are the people from Zion.
Hello? When you look at the two people, where they come from in Kenya, those people from America, they came from the, 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 the white man writes a history. The white man is writing a history telling them that they came from somewhere in the forest, in the Congo forest. Where the hell were they in the forest? No people originated from the forest. We are not so how did we grow up from down and we, we flung up from the forest? That's a damn lie. It has been proven further that they came further from a kingdom called the Kingdom of Judah. And all these niggas calling in here saying that the black Hebrew Israelites are mad. I bet no one can debate them in person. I have been, I have been seeing them Christian pastors getting dismantled. All of them, they came, they came with forty, they come with behind and study. They have been dismantled, all of them. All of them, niggas calling in they have been from the black Hebrew Israelites. No other black group has done that, has done what that groups have done in, the, in, in terms of uh, in terms of decolonizing the minds of our people. You you you, you take a little you take a little kid in Africa, Oshie, You ask them who you give them a white visa and then a black visa. You ask them that God here, and they will touch to you, Oshie, They will touch to you the Sabodia, every other and every other Negro. Then the Jesus of the white man waiting for them, waiting for the white man to come and save them from white people. How crazy is that? And then they are busy calling in, bashing down the black Hebrew rights groups after all that they have done. We have Minister Ruiz Farrakhan, I respect the minister so much, mm -hmm. but you saw what he did in the public chat. He did not, he did not talk about none of that. He did not tell anyone in that, in that chat to bring down those images. There are images in St. Sabina Church of a white, of a white mother sitting with a white child. And then he has his black mother sitting with black Jesus in that church. None of that. He did not talk about that. So that's why we don't go down in the nation of Islam because they talk, they talk the truth in half. However, we don't bash them because they still have done something to uplift the black communities. Okay. Okay. No, no. Some good points, brother. And, uh, Make sure you email me, brother. I'll tell you what. Uh, hotel, brother. Uh, hotel, brother. Brother, brother, you're making my ears hurt, brother. But shout out to the African brothers out there. Okay. G listen, the, the, the Hebrew Israelite community, I feel a debate coming on, right? Uh, if you guys want to come on in uh, on a show, uh, I will I will make claims. I know it's a lot of y'all out there in black YouTube. I didn't know y'all was as deep as y'all are. But for the black Hebrew Israelite community, email me at planetoshea at gmail.com. I will let you have your say on my platform. All right. You, you know, I'm uh you know the king of a uh, king of uh, online debates. You know, shout out to Sonetter, he does it much better than me. But uh, you know, I'm I'm second tier, right? You guys can definitely come through my channel. And uh, we'll we'll let you put your ideas out there against other people. So I'm not against uh you know you you doing that. Uh, shout out to Tony Davis for the 99 super chat. I'm gonna read out the rest of them. Let me go to uh some of the other brothers and sisters here on uh the line. Uh, area code 404. You are now uh here. 404. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Cool. How you doing, man? Uh, I'm glad you're having this show today, man. Um, you know, a lot of brothers need to be hip to this Israelite truth. But um, yes, we are uh, Israelites. We're not um, quote unquote African American. But um, what, the point I wanted to make was we have to understand as a people that if the first problem with our people is that we refer to ourselves by a color. Black is not a race of people. Black is a color. None of us are black. We're all different shades of brown, whether that be tawny, swarthy, which is light skin or dark skin. None of us are black people. The reason why I say that is because if you refer to yourself as a black person, then you're just going to keep thinking that everybody who looks like you is the exact same people of you. Your race is your so-called your so-called race is your seed line, which is your lineage, which is the lineage of your father. 
that's what your that's what your quote unquote race is. Everybody who's a so called black person, meaning a a darker skin, you know, melanated person, is not the same people as the black American people. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first point I want to make. And if once you understand that, then that'll then that will then that will dismiss a lot of the confusion that we have as a people, as opposed to represent as opposed to separating ourselves from the Africans, you know, and between the Africans and the so called African Americans. But the next point I wanted to make was that yes, we are Israelites, and the the people that do know that are um, Af- Af- let me tell you who does know that we are Israelites. And we're not the same people as the Africans. The Africans know that, and and the elite, quote unquote, elite whites of this society know that as well. And the reason never refers to themselves once they get to this not once they get to the United States, they never refer to themselves as an African American. They always say that they're out uh, there they're Nigerian or they're Ghanaian. They even refer to themselves as by their tribe. Say I'm an Igbo person or they're Ethiopian, I'm a Habisha or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So they don't refer to themselves as quote unquote African American when they get over to this country. You know, the white man the quote unquote white man, so called white man, also knows that we are of um uh, that we are the people of the book, that we are the people, um, the, the Most High's chosen people. And the reason why I say that is because when um, when we came over to this country, the people that did come over to this country, because the so-called black man has three main lineages, that is the the people that came from, the people that, there are, there are some blacks that did come from the West Coast of Africa. The blacks that came from the West Coast of Africa, the blacks that came from, um, that came from Europe as well and the blacks that were already here, the so-called aboriginal blacks. Mm-hmm. A lot of black people also come from Europe, which a lot of black people don't know that. So-called black people don't know that. And that's why a lot of so-called black people have European last names, last names like Henry, last names like myself. My last name is, my last name is of German descent. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black people have European ancestry last names. They did a report a while ago, and a lot of Welsh people were asking, why do so-called black people have the same last names as us? That's because a lot of our last names do not do not come from the white slave owner. That's a, that's a myth. The, they didn't they didn't change our last names or give us their last names. That's not true. A lot of our last names come from European ancestry or the blacks that were already here, the Aboriginal Americans. And the thing about it is, a lot of black people don't want to believe in the Bible. They think the Bible's the white man's book, et cetera, et cetera. They refer to themselves as Christian, whatever the case may be. But if you look, if you read the scriptures. There's plenty of times in the scriptures where the Most High Yah refers to us, the so-called black people of America, as the Most High's chosen people. And in, the, and in that, we, the problem that we have in the community, and the main problem is that we don't, we, the black man has not turned back to the Most High collectively. And until the black man turns back to the Most High, we're always going to continue to have these problems. That's why we that's why we're under that that's the reason why we're underneath these curses to begin with mm-hmm. is because the uh, our ancestors of the past turned back from the most high i know i said a lot in that okay. that it might have got mixed up a few but i just wanted to make my point clear that we we don't a lot of us in this country do not come from africa some of us come from ancient europe and some of us were the original blacks that were already here that um uh, were here you know prior to that whole slave trade and all that all that shit man that was that's something that the white man taught us in this school system to to strip us of our culture and to strip us of um of our of our of our understanding of the people mm-hmm. that's why we that's why we practice a lot of these pagan ass holidays christmas easter valentine's day mother's day which is today which is a veneration of the mother goddess this is a pagan ass society that we live in and so-called black people until we understand our history until we understand um you know who we are. We're gonna to continue to be under the circumstance that we're in, man. Okay, okay, brother. Well, let me. Uh, thank you for calling in, and uh, you know we got a lot of good callers. Who's uh, uh who's gonna challenge some of this though? Uh, some of the other content. Let me see. Three, two, three. I don't know if I've got to him already. Three, two, three. If I got to you already? I don't think so. All right, go ahead, brother. What's going on? What do you? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the subject matter is, are African Americans African or, or Israelite? Right. Well, you know, we predominantly, you know, genetics and everything, predominantly West, Central, and Southeastern Africans in Madagascar. There's no denying that. That's not 
no denying that fact and reality. However, having said that, there are tribes mm -hmm. in Africa, as you mentioned, uh, such as uh, I think it was you said the you know Ethiopians or Falasha Jews, and uh, uh, certain evils. Well, you know the evils. I'm not very sure that trace the trace uh, their lineage to uh, Israel. But you know my position is um, we predominantly African. We are African. That's just no you know doubt about that. Um, do we have other ancestry? Yeah, we do. But we predominantly African. Period. It's it's no question about that. Yes, I know there's black groups in other parts of the world. And I visit those parts of the world, mm -hmm. such as uh, Melanesia, um, Fiji, uh, Papua New Guinea. I've been there. But uh, even though they look like us, um, genetically speaking, uh, from any DNA test, they're not us. They're not of us. Okay. But, you know, when I did the DNA test, I know a lot of people you know, are against DNA tests. And when I did the DNA test, um, I had all types of results, especially when they have in regards to your cousin. And I had relatives, which I didn't know, and, you know, obviously that happened, uh, that happened during slavery, uh, that were based in, you know, the Caribbean, that were based in the Dominican Republic and, uh, and also Jamaica and also um, even Brazil, who are like my third or fourth cousin. I also discovered from the DNA test that, uh, I have, you know, distant African cousins. So there's no question about that, that, you know, we are African, period. Mm -hmm. well, what, what was, Hello? Yeah, well, let me ask you this. What about the other brothers that's been, um, the other brothers that are seeing, like the other brother, you went from Israel. What do you say to those brothers? Oh, uh, that we're from Israel and all that. I mean, do we have anything to, uh, to prove it or to back it up? I mean, is it backed up in scientific, you know, uh, literature? Well, I mean, they have several situations where they're using certain scriptures and, you know, other things. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure if they have, like, DNA or anything like that. But what do you say to some of the claims you've already heard today on the air? I mean, one of the calls was pretty much interesting. Um, he said something in substance in relation to... To, in relation to uh, the history of West Africa, uh, specifically the fungi. Correct. There were Jews uh, who did live in West Africa. So anything is pretty much possible. Um, there are also um, groups, I guess, part of the, like probably a subgroup of the uh, Tuareg group mm -hmm. um, that, um, that did, they did genetically speaking that some of those people are of um, Israelite descent, but do they consider themselves Israelite? So that's the question. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you could be part, let's say, uh, you, let's say this, you were part of one group one, one time, you move away from that area, you mix up with different group of people, you become a different group of people altogether. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, not saying you're going to deny that group that you were, but you mixed in with that. you know, like, say, groups like the Fulani group, you know, which I'm actually, which I found out, um, I'm just, I descend from as well. Um, according to both supposedly theory, I'm just putting this in quotation marks, uh, they originally came from North Africa, and they mixed in with Senegalese people, and they became their own, you know, uh, group. So they're not, no, they no longer North African or whatever group in Senegalese, but it became a new group called the Fulbe people. Okay, okay. You know, they created their own, you know, separate group. All right, all right. So, you know, it's it's so many variables. So many variables. Okay, okay. And, and, and shout out to the brothers. On yeah. the, uh, thank you for, for calling in. I'm a, thank you, brothers, for, for the super chats. I really, really appreciate your support. Let me just read um, some of those from you brothers out there. Uh, and get the likes up here. I've been getting some emails. Let me just say this. I'm running a call-in show. So this is not a Google Hangout. Um. The number to call in is 646-668-2519. So what you hear is my mixer working through Blog Talk Radio. I know on the line you don't see like the nice OBS stuff, but I'm still working on that. So what you see right now is me running my show through the mixer. So uh, or here. That's why it sounds so good. So people are actually calling in. I have my iPhone plugged into my mixer, and that's what's driving the calls into Google Hangouts. So I don't have an actual um, 
this is not a Google Hangout where I'm inviting people on. I'm the only person that's using Google Hangout right now. So let me shout out to James Johnson, the brother. Thank you. It, it, our struggle fits the prophecy written in the scriptures. We are the people of the scriptures. The Bible is our book, ADOS. Professor MGTOW, use white man DNA test. What do you think he's going to call you, David Johnson? Google African. The E. Hablo group from Shem's paternal line. Jermaine's jukebox. We got to visit Ethiopia, Egypt, Eritrea, Sudan, experience the God frequency. Professor Mictow, Black Ram, Professor Mictow, Stephens, Cold Thinking Man, Template, All Israelites, Tony Davis. Thank you so much, Mr. Big. I'm off topic, but where's the white women at? You know, you got to have somebody trolling. So shout out to the, uh, to the, uh, to the, man, I didn't know y'all was this deep out here, man. Let me go to 206 853 in the building. What's going on? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? Okay, okay. Hey, man, what's up? This is Joey. I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to spit three facts. I keep hearing people talk about DNA. <laughs> Number one, now I'm not a Dane Calloway subscriber or nothing like that, but he did make a very good point about this. DNA is a very bad... DNA of the people that are living in that particular area now. So that's irrelevant to who we could be related to, because as we know, especially in Africa, people migrate. So that's irrelevant about what your DNA is telling you. It's, it's, it's fun to go on Ancestry.com and stuff, but none of that stuff's admissible in court, and it's not really uh, hard evidence. Number two, you remove the Suez Canal, Israel and all the Middle Eastern countries, that is now Far East Africa, as it has always been. So even if we were all Israelites, we'd still be Africans. Number three, as far as the biblical aspect is concerned, all you need to do is go look at original pictures of the Christ and of Mary in the Vatican. They're black. Game over. So when what happens with us as black folks, it's, a, it's, it's almost like a word association game. It's like when black folks say we're Native Americans. You get the imagery in your mind of you know, a uh, chief strong bull, and you go, that's not what black people look like, so black people can't be Native American. That's not what they're talking about. When you say black people who are Hebrew Israelites, you're not picturing the guys that walk around now with bagel rocks in New York. They're talking about a whole different group of people. So yeah, they do have a point. And I do respect the fact that they have the audacity to be so bold and braggadocious about it, which almost equals current Christianity current Catholicism, it's just as bold, and it dares black people to say, no, we're gods too. So even if it's a lie, all this stuff's a lie, I, I, I prefer their lie. That's where I'm coming from with that. I'm ADOS, so I don't really care about none of it, and I don't really feel like it's trying to separate nobody, because I always say this, you can't separate what's already divided. We're, we're already divided by a big-ass ocean and 400 plus years, you know what I'm saying? And we'd, we'd love to work with the Africans, we love to work with them, but I heard somebody mention earlier, all these European countries are able to get together and do this and that. Those are individual citizens of the country all working in mass unison together. Those are governments, organizations, militaries forcing their people to do what they need them to do. Mm -hmm. That's why they're organized. Our actual issue, all black people across the world, mm -hmm. as we keep thinking we're all going to get in formation like a Beyonce video, when in reality it's going to take our leaders who are incompetent and often sellouts to organize us. We need new leaders. We need new organizations. We need new structure. It can't just be from the bottom up, from the people like that. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you this then. Do you think that the ADOS people originate, um, if, if, if you would say the origination of ADOS people like me and you, where do we come from? Where is our origin in your opinion? <laughs> ADOS people don't come no further than the Caribbeans. We, we were bred. African Americans were bred here. That's why there's no slave ships. That's why, that's why we don't have we don't have a history like the, the the Caribbean blacks do. We were we were bred over when they ended the transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're over here. We're we're basically descendants of the Caribbeans. Okay, so we're descendants. And you can look that up just by how the business went. You know. Okay, and then the, the Caribbeans.
do they have an origin in your opinion? Well, here's the thing. And this is also what, what, what concerns me is, is we get real, dis- real dismissive and go, ah, you came from West Africa. Again, it's a word association game because Africans traveled all around that continent. They were very nomadic. So, and then also when you look at the, also when you look at the slave trade, and I'm just going to say this and just be honest. When you look at Africa during the slave trade, it, the whole, pretty much the whole continent was a giant slave factory. The whole continent was moving people from the central and, 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 and inside the, the center of Africa, moving them out towards the coast, towards the ships. There was a whole seasoning process. So you can see, it doesn't really matter what part of Africa you came from. At some point, you was getting moved off into the coast and getting shipped off. So it's really difficult for you to sit there and say where exactly you are from or if you were from one nation or the other, because back in those times, it was all just one big slave factory. I mean, you literally got spots just called the Slave Coast, the Grain Coast, you know, the Gold Coast, just telling you where they were just stealing stuff. So nobody had independent, established nations during this time like that. Everybody was getting meshed in, especially the little people like us that became slaves. Okay, okay, all right. All right, well, brother, I thank you for calling in. Let me go ahead and get to another caller here. I mean, y'all are keeping me busy tonight with the calls, man. Let me go to 404 254 um damn hello can you hear me yes sir yes sir hey what's going on brother peace peace brother what's going on um yeah um my whole issue i'm going to go go ahead and answer the question right off so you won't have to ask me um african americans are indeed africans we are not israelites Okay, this this um this Israelite identity it is a fake identity. It is fake history, it, and it and uh it came about in the eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds, in that somewhere in that area. But but um and it was actually forced upon us by white white Christians. Mm-hmm. See, black people didn't call didn't didn't start calling themselves Israelites until they. Uh, yeah, until they became acquainted with the Bible. See, the first person to claim that we were Hebrew Israelites was was the preacher in the church. But before that, none of none of this black people Hebrew Israelites was going on. See, and the 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 slaves who were taken from West Africa, okay, they were never called Israelites. Mm-hmm. They were never called Israelites. They were known as Negroes. Negroes, or and the Negroes are descendants of Ethiopians. Okay, when you when we go on into history, the people of West Africa, the people who dwelt south of Carthage, south of the Moors and all that, they were known as Ethiopians. They were never called Israelites. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These these Hebrews or Jews or Israelites or, or whatever you want to call them, okay, they came very late, somewhere in the, after 1000 AD. Okay, and they were never the slaves. The people who were taken as slaves from West Africa, okay, those were the people who has who yeah who had all yeah the people who were taken as slaves. Mm-hmm. They were the people who was always there. Okay, and um um, but these Hebrews or these Jews, okay, they were in West Africa, but they got there late, and they were never the slaves. They were they were merchants. Okay. And they were rich. Okay, and um, and even in America, no different. You see the you see people here they 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 call Jews. Okay, but when um when we deal with mm-hmm. okay, they going around messing with other black people. They're not messing with these Jews. It was the same thing in Africa. Same same thing in West Africa. These people call Jews, and most of them. They dwelt in the north. They dwelt in North Africa. They dwelt in the area of Morocco and Algeria. That is where they dwelt. Okay. Okay, but the people to the south were known as Negroes. And the Negroes are descendants of Ethiopians. Even when you read the, the 15th century and the 16th century uh, books, they call that land the Ethiopian coast. And those slaves, right. they were being you know, taken captive and sold into slavery by their own people. Okay. And um and, and the people and the Africans who were selling them were Islamic Africans. They were Muslim Africans. And they called the Africans they were selling into slavery, they called them pagans or or, or infidels. Okay, so we were far from Hebrew Israelites. 
you had three groups in, in West Africa. You had the white Christians, okay. you had the, the Arab, you had the Muslims, and you had the pagans. Okay, let me let me ask you. Yeah, but but we, brother, let me ask you this then. Well, uh, who are the real Jews then? Uh, who are they? If they're not us, who are they then? Yes, um, the real Jews. Okay, when we go back into seventy A.D., um, there's a historian named Josephus Flavius. Yes, I know that. Okay, you can go read it. Jo yeah, Josephus Flavius, Wars of the Jews. It was okay, and it and it speaks on. Okay, and it speaks on the the destruction of Jerusalem in seventy A.D. Okay. okay? And when the Hebrew Israelites talk about Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight, how the Jews were taken into ships and uh and uh yeah taken taken into ships as slaves, that came to pass in seventy A.D. That was an event far distinguished from the Atlantic slave trade in West Africa. And on top of that, okay, uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight is talking about the people in Israel, okay, being taken. To another place. It's not talking about the people in West Africa. Mm -hmm. It is talking about the people in Israel, okay, being being taken somewhere. And when we deal with 70 AD, the people of 70 AD, they were actual Jews. They were actual Israelites. And after the destruction of, in 70 AD, they were taken as slaves to Rome, not from West from Israel to Rome, not from West Africa to America. That is all fake history. That has nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are Africans. They call our ancestors our ancestors Negroes. Okay. 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 Yeah. So so in um in um yeah and don't and that the Jews who were taken to Rome as slaves that was the tribe of Judah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when black black people in America say that they're from the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. that is a lie because the, the the tribe of Judah were taken were were taken from Jerusalem in seventy A.D. And when we deal with the with the ten tribes, okay, the other ten tribes, okay, Josephus Flavius, he says it is he says it himself. They they during his time they they dwelt near the Euphrates, beyond the Euphrates. So those people, the Israelites, the Jews, they they're 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 in the Middle East. They're still in the Middle East. Right. Some of them in Rome, some of them in Spain, but they were not our ancestors. Okay, okay, let me let me do this, brother, because we're gonna have some people in here. That's going to disagree with what you're talking about, but um, let me just do this. Yeah, some you, you made some uh, some strong point. What's your name, brother? Four hundred four. Yes, um, I, I I go by the name of Radio One on uh, YouTube. Yeah, Radio One. All right, Radio One. Thank you, Radio. my brother. Yeah, uh, R. Yeah, R R A I D D I O One. Okay. All right. So yeah, y'all go subscribe to Radio One. All right. so this is what we're gonna do today. Uh, I want to give a shout out uh to the brother. Let me let me do this real quick. It's a lot of calls in queue, all right? I'm not going to bump you up because you say put me on, right? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do the Negro way, all right? You want to get bumped up? Super chat! Otherwise, you're going to be in the queue until it's your damn turn. We're going to do it like we, we Ghana. You know, if you've been to Ghana before, I heard about it, you Ghana, we doing it the African way over here. You want some shit bumped up, nigga. It's going to cost you a little something. You're not going to just get bumped up because you want to be in the chat, nigga. Do we corrupt over here on the O'Shea? Do we a corrupt motherfucking channel? Corruption all over. I'm the I'm in the Negrocratic Party, and we corrupt. Bump me up to 404. Uh, Michael Swint, not for $2, player. But uh, let me let me go. Hold on a second. Let me see. Let me see. All right, all right. 404, what was your what, what, what what's your number? Okay, hold on a second. I'll come right to you, player. You did you did say that. Okay, are, are you 404? Hold on a second. You're 404, right? Is yeah, that's me, 404. See, Michael Swint? Yeah, 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 that's Michael. See, you see how you do that? Yeah, that's Michael Swint, yeah, yeah. Up. Your brother, brother paid for it. You didn't get bumped up. I'm corrupt. Go ahead, brother. What's going on, man? All you got to do is pay something and get bumped <laughs> up, up, nigga. You know, go ahead. What's up, brother? What's going on, brother? Hey, you got hey, you got, you got to do what you got to do, man. man you got to do what you got to do. But um, brother, this, last, this last caller... <laughs> this, <laughs> this last caller, man, and a lot of callers that's talking... They was on talking, you know, they bring up all this science and history and all this shit, man. I just want to say this right here. It's not real history and science is not real science. The reason why I say that is this right here. Anything that you look up online or you, you read in a, you read in some kind of science novel or some kind of scientific study or whatever, they can curve science and curve history to, to 
to to how to be however they want it to be. The ultimate history, and a lot of a lot of people don't like this. A lot of black people don't like this because you don't a lot of a lot of so called black people don't believe in the Bible. The ultimate history book is the scriptures. That is the ultimate history book. Fuck all that history that you read online. Fuck all that science that you read in these scientific novels. The Bible is the real history book. The Jews, are, the, the false Jews are the white people. It literally says in the scriptures that Yahweh Shai, the son, was a Jew. Not a Jewish man, but a Jew. The blacks, the so-called blacks are the real Jews of the Bible. That is, I don't know what this last poem was talking about. The, the, that makes no, the, the white Christians taught the black people the Israelites. What? That makes no sense. If anything, the white Christians want black people to believe and follow Christianity so that we cannot, so we cannot be hip to our real culture and we cannot be hip to what our real and true history is. That's all I wanted to say. All right, brother. Thanks again, man. I appreciate you, brother. Professor, you know I got you, man. You've been uh, you've been done that. No, no, I was just kind of juggling with that. Well, let me go ahead on to this one, brother. Right, he's been here for a minute. Um, um, nine eight zero. Have you been on yet, brother? Nine eight zero. Actually, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, have you been on yet? Let me hold on. Let me let me go to nine one two. Nine one two been waiting longer than you. Nine one two, what's going on? Nine one two, brother, what's up? Nine one two nine one two nine one two. Nine one two nine one two. Hello, hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. What's going on, my brother? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. What's up, bro? Uh yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. I, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello? Okay, uh here's my position. I feel that we are African. Now, these brothers that say that they are Israelite, here here's the problem. This is what I always ask. I never get into the word semantics and all this other shit. If they are descendants of the country of Israel, tell them to provide us the first known Israelite. Tell them to give us a, a timeline for when they migrated from Israel across Africa. How did they live? What kind of currency did they trade? Did they have interpreters? How did they feed and clothe and bathe themselves? And then... They got on these slave ships. These motherfuckers talking about they are the most high chosen people. Like, if you are God's chosen people, shit. You Israelites have been in bondage every place you've been in that Bible. Like, I wouldn't even want to be associated with this fucking God. But the next caller that comes on here, tell them to give you a timeline for their migration across Africa. From Central, from East Africa to Central Africa to West Africa the time they got on those slave ships. I mean, scientists have mapped the human genome theory. They can tell you when the first Africans left Africa and they arrived in Australia. So, if they took this journey from Israel to West Africa, tell them to give you a timeline. That's all I want to say, brother. Okay, so are you, all right, all right. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, uh, thank you, brother, for, uh, for calling in. Let me go to 980. Let me go to 980. 980, you on the air. Nine eight zero nine eight zero. How you doing? I'm shaking. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I, I kind of listened to a lot of the callers. I got a couple of different opinions on. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Until we can refute or debate debate the facts that are in the Bible, I would say this still needs to be investigated. For example, in Deuteronomy 28, it talks about how we would be subject to purchasing from our enemies. In other words, do we own any water companies? Do we own any textile companies? So these are things we're still subject to to this day. And I would argue that even some Africans are Israelites and may not know it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you mean by that? What I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, suffering the same curses as us ADOS and Americans do. So whenever it comes to Americans identifying the struggles and the hardships that we went through is always negated. Whereas Africans can express those same struggles. But if you look at the current state right now, look at what's going on with Africa and China. And we can see some of those trends and patterns going on in Africa where Africa is being recolonized. So, for example, yes, there's different cultures in Africa, but everybody doesn't um, adhere or believe in those cultures. So everybody's trying to say that um, vegetarianism is a new thing. Mm -hmm. But they talk about vegan diets in the Bible. They say that we should patronize our businesses, but the Bible clearly talks about 
how you supposed to patronize those of, of your culture. Mm-hmm. So it seems to me that it's not so much that people are having a problem with people identifying with Hebrew Israelite, it's more so the cultural demands and aspects of the Bible that people are going against. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. No, no, no. So some good points there. Let me uh let me bring on the other brother, uh the brother, the brother uh MGTOW, uh brother MGTOW. What's your area code again, brother? Uh, put your area code in there. But let me go to 901. I forgot the area code, brother. I don't know if you're still there. 901, you own the air. What up, Memphis? Hello? Oh, Jay the Great. What's going on there, player? What's up, brother? Man, I'm still trying to be black, brother. Hey, man, I can't call it, man. What's going on, hey. there, player? Okay. Okay, to answer the question, uh, the, black, the so-called black Americans, we are Israelites. Okay. And... Um, you have to go back. You have to go back to history to the year seventy A.D. Mm-hmm. In seventy A.D., Rome invaded Israel. So, it, so some Jews did go to Rome, but millions of Jew, millions of Israelites fled, fled from um, Israel and fled into the interiors of Africa. And the Hamites or the Africans, they were we, we were unwanted in their land, so we kept going farther, further west. Until we got to the coast of Africa, that's how the so-called Israelites, I mean, that's how the Israelites ended up on the west coast of Africa, mm-hmm. where they got sold to slavery by the black Hamites, or the black Africans. So, so there you have it as far as the timeline concerned. Uh, in 70 AD, we fled into the interiors of Africa, mm-hmm. and we kept getting pushed, pushed and pushed by the Hamites, or the Africans, until we got to no other place, we ran out of land to go to. So we, that's how we ended up on the west coast of Africa and where we got sold into slavery by the Hamites or the Africans. And, um, and, and, that, and that's the timeline right there. And, and another thing is, where did the term Kumbaya come from? I have no idea. Where does it come from? Where does that come from? Okay, and what does it mean? Kumbaya means come by Yahweh. Or and, and, and what is Yahweh? Yahweh is the Hebrew name for God. Mm-hmm. So and the so the slaves, so the slaves, when they got over here to America, were saying Kumbaya. Well, they was in the fields picking cotton and doing all kind of slavery uh, in this uh, wicked wicked land that we're in. They were saying Kumbaya, come by Yahweh, come by Yahweh, save us from this oppression that we're that we're going through. So why were the slaves picking Hebrew? Mm, okay. All right, hold on, man. My uh, my internet is fucking up. All right, hold on. I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. I'm coming right back. Yeah, hold tap, man. My, oh man, they hating on my stuff, brother. All right, hold on a second. Let me go back to my hangouts, man. The white man is holding me back, brother. I'm trying to do a good show, and it's holding me back. Let me resume the hangout. Let me let me uh yeah I'm, I came back brother let me let me go to uh three yeah man hold on let me go to my my my, my man I got this new internet these white folks mess me up brother uh let me go to three o five the brother was here three o five you under you in the building brother what's going on which uh, can you hear me what, you talking about professor three o five or somebody else is this professor or someone else yeah okay go ahead brother. All right, one thing I understand a lot of people. Can you guys can they hear me on the chat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They should be able to hear you. Yes, sir. Right. I understand a lot of people don't like to use the Bible. Can have us use a little bit of common sense here. The scripture says we are the salt of the earth. All right. When we look at somebody like a LeBron James, we say 
Man, his son is going to be cold as hell. Why? Because we're looking at the genes passed from his father. The same thing, if you are the children of the Most High, as Israelites claim, wouldn't we be genetically better? See, a lot of times you got to think outside the box. People will say, well, you don't do business. Well, you got a low IQ. Well, you're shooting up the community. But let's just look at nature. Who sets the trend? African Americans, we are the most talented people on this planet because we set the trend, man, and we set the trend everywhere. If the Jews are the real Jews in Israel, how come you don't see them winning any special uh, Olympics? You know what they win in? They actually lead in special Olympics, while African Americans lead in everything else that has to do with natural God-given ability, not Africans. Go to Tokyo and let you see that. Let me see people in Tokyo wearing uh, dashikis. Go to Switzerland and let me see it. Anywhere you go, they are emulating the greatest people on the planet. And that's the African Americans. The scripture says you will lose your language and you will lose your land. Africans have not lost their land. They still have their land and they still have their language. And what are they doing right now? They're on their way to get 80% of that shit over to China. African Americans never had language, never had culture, and yet we set the trend for the world with no culture. So think about that when you talk about who we are, man. Think about that for real. We are the salt of the earth. That includes the islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Bahamas. That includes some people in Cuba, some people in Mexico. These black, there are blacks over there. But at the end of the day, we are the only ones that have a God given ability. And the other aspect of it, when you say, man, well, how come African Americans don't do what Africans do business wise? Think about this. If Satan is God's enemy, who is he going to push down the most? If I'm beefing with another mob boss and I can't get to the mob boss prison, I'm going to attack his children. And that's what happens today. So when you say, oh, man, African Americans don't do nothing but destroy the community and this and that, they don't work together. These are part of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, and you have to understand, like I said in Revelation 2.9, they are the synagogue of Satan. The people that you think are the Jews in Israel are the people who do the, the will of Satan. So why do they use their media, their rap industry, their television, their sports industry to keep us dumbed down and keep us from our history? Because they know the moment we find out that we are true, their system crumbles. So it's a big picture, and you got to be able to think outside of the box with it. But if we talk about IQs and education and, and building business, that's the white man talking point. That's society's laws. Nature's laws is something else. If you were to look at a lion and say how deadly he is based off him in the zoo, then you're not going to get a true depiction of a lion. Because African Americans have went from lion to domesticated cat. But at the end of the day, naturally, we are the most dominant we set the trends, and we set the culture for the whole world because everybody mimics us. Nobody wants to be black, but nobody, or everybody wants to be black. And when they want to mimic black culture, it's not Africans, it's not Kenyans, it's not Ethiopians, it's not Senegalese, but it's the so-called niggas in America. And that's all I got to say on that. Damn. Man, brother, I, well, I couldn't have said it <laughs> That brother really said a lot right there. All right, let me go ahead and get that brother applause. Uh, uh, people, let me go ahead on the 313. 313, you own the air, brother. What's going on? 313. 
Hey, man, I, I, was, I was about to lose, give up hope on these callers until my man came along, and he, he finally gave some positive information. The rest of these niggas is about the dumbest rocks I ever heard. They're the ones, they, 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 these are the ones, they must got their education in cell block C in the federal pen. These niggas, you know, this, this, this is why we as black people can't work together, because we get uh, uh, overabundance of ignorance and stupidity that hold us back. We try to build a community, but you come with these niggas with this, this, this crazy way of thinking, it just, it just separates everything. I, I could never work. I want to build a community with black men and build our, our, within ourselves. I could never work with these niggas who called, called in the day. <laughs> they, they, they just, it, the education level, they, 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 the ability to reason and think and, and, uh, and taking information. 90 seconds. You, you, I couldn't do it. I mean, anybody above a high school education should understand what they're saying was some garbage. If you just go into YouTube and just educate yourself, you can, you can hear some real scholars get some real scholarly information about who we are. This whole, it's really, yeah, it's shit's crazy. I don't think even understand how big Africa is. Going to Africa, if you if you in New York, let's say New York, sixty York, seconds, Nigeria is on the West Coast. That's like going from New York City to Hawaii. That's how big Africa is. It ain't it ain't like going from New York to Philadelphia. We on the West. We are all West Coast Black people. We were sold into slavery by other Black people. Let's get that clear. By other Black people, we were sold into slavery. We all came from the East Coast. Cameroon, Nigeria, the uh, Bongo. That's where, that's where we all from, man. All you other black folks talking all this other crazy shit. I could never work with you. I could never build a community with you. I could never develop with you because your mind is too fucking gone. That's all I, that's all I wanted to say, bro. All right. All right, brother. Well, thank you for calling in. Let me go. Ten seconds. Let me go to uh to, to 804. 804 in the building. What's up? You get me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get you. Yeah, um, my brother too. I just want to say shout out to your show. I enjoy your show. I enjoy watching your show. Um, I have, I have a, so a lot of things to say. One thing is, I hate when people disagree with the whole notion that black Americans can be uh, descendants of Israelites. And though they don't believe in the Bible, they'll use the Bible as a way by quoting half ass scriptures. Like the man, I think it was, uh, one, I believe it was the white woman that called earlier who said that Aaron and Miriam was teasing Moses' wife for being dark skinned. That's stupid. It says that nowhere in any Bible on the face of this earth. Not even in the slave Bible does it say that. So he just made that up. He lied. They were, they were talking about Moses because his wife was Ethiopian and she wasn't an Israelite. Just the same way Samson and didn't want him married in Delilah, and she was a Canaanite. So she looked more Arabic. She had straight hair and Arabic features. She didn't look dark skin, but they didn't want him marrying her either because she wasn't an Israelite. It, it doesn't matter how you look. It matters of the fact that the people did not have the same culture, and that's what they were basing on. I'll give you another example of that. In the Bible, there's a book called Ruth, and Ruth was a Gentile, but she swore off her people and told her mother-in-law that she would become like her mother and worship her mother-in-law's God. And that's all that mattered, and that's all they would prefer. But as concerning um, whether we are descendants of Israelites or not, I think the, the proper answer is, I don't know. But when someone says they know we're not, they know we're not because they know we're African, then my question is, if you know what we are, tell me what tribe my people were when they were taken from Africa and sold into slavery. Tell me where they were taken from. They can't do that. They can't tell you where their people were taken from in Africa. They can't tell you the language into slavery. But they know for fact, they know for fact that we ain't descended to Israelites. And I think that's weird. Another thing, just historically speaking, as far as Israel, as far as Israelites are concerned, Africa has always been a place of refuge for Israelites. Whether you're talking about Abraham when he went into Egypt because there was a famine going on, or you're talking about Jacob 
what he wanted to Egypt and where he found his lost son, Joseph, who was married to an Egyptian, in which two of the after 12 tribes were named after Ephraim and Manasseh, so they're half African, but no one wants to talk about that. Moses' name is African, it, it comes from Egypt, no one wants to talk about that. Or we can jump all the way ahead to Jesus Christ when he was born. And his parents took his ass into Africa to hide away from Herod, King Herod. They didn't go into Europe. They didn't go into the Middle East. They always go down into Africa. Mm -hmm. So if you're telling me during the sack when the, of Jerusalem, when the Romans were sacking Jerusalem, all of a sudden, all these Jews who are running and escaping all travel into Europe? That sounds stupid. It sounds dumb. You do what you're used to. You do what your people always do. And throughout the Bible, from the Old Testament all the way to the New, the Jews had a tendency of going into, into Africa whenever there was trouble. When it came to the Babylonians, conquering uh, uh, the tribe of Judah and carrying them off as slaves, they were leaving and escaping down into Ethiopia. So I, I think it, it's not far-fetched to believe that you can have Israelite ancestry. And another thing I would say is, is if anything, if you look at the way the Jews are described as far as them believing in God, and that God they believed in basically birthed two different religions, Christianity and Islam, and that's the dominant between the three, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, you tell them they got 90% of the human population gathered all within those three faiths. That's a very influential group of people. I don't see that with white Jews today. No one listens to music that white Jews create. No one listens to poems that white Jews write. They're not very influential when it comes to culture. They're influential when it comes to money, but they're not very influential when it comes to culture. Meanwhile, if you go by the Bible, in which was written all by Jews, these are some of the people who are the most influential culturally-wise people to ever exist. And the only people that resemble that today, like the other gentleman that just called, are black Americans. We're the only people that have people calling themselves niggas. A hundred years ago, no one wanted to be called a nigger. Now they're calling themselves niggas. Whites, Japanese, Mexicans, Hawaiians, damn near Samoans, people from Guam, everybody calling themselves niggas. So I, I just think if, if you want to be honest, and I just want to say one more thing about that curse uh, in Deuteronomy. Go ahead, go ahead. Because the, the, another man said the curse, the curse said, uh, that they'll be carried away a ship, and that happened in the second room. No, what it said is, God said, I will send you to Egypt. And this used to be symbolic. Egypt is known as slavery. I will send you to Egypt in slave ship, to a land that your fathers have never known. Well, I'm sorry, but there's only one place on this earth that was called the New World, because no one has ever traveled there. No, Jews knew about Rome. They knew about Greece. <laughs> they went to war with the Hittites, so they knew that. They knew Babylon, so the, the notion that, oh, you know, that's the fulfillment of the prophecy, no. There's only one fulfillment of the prophecy, and if you go deeper to the prophecy, he says, you will buy, but you will never sell. You will borrow, but you will never loan. And I will do this until you are completely destroyed. Or you will watch your children be sown to others, and you will never see them again. You will labor all day and never reap what you, what you sow. And, and God said he will do this until he completely destroys them for being wicked. And I'm sorry, I don't know any history of European Jews. Now, I'm going to say one more thing, and I'm going to let you go, because I'm not trying to be wrong with it. But I want to say this. You can be an Israelite and be African. And if you're going to go by the Bible, and what the Bible says, then it says he was sent them to the four corners of earth. So there are white Jews, there are Asian Jews, there are Jews in America, and there are Jews in Africa. And that's just being honest about going what it says. It would make no sense to think that anything otherwise. So there, that's what wait I'm a minute. There are you, there, so there are oh. European Jews. Is that right, brother? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm sorry, say that again? Are, are, are there European Jews, brother? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's most definitely. Most, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I was born a Jew. My grandfather was a rabbi, right? I'm black. I'm ADOS, right? My grandfather was um, Bohemian, right? I'm not a, I'm not a, 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 the Israelite that, you know, stand on corners and stuff like that, but I'm a Jew. I know my history and the notion that, you know, oh, Jew didn't make it from Israel. 
to West Africa, but I'm supposed to believe an Arab from east of Israel made it all the way to West Africa to teach West Africans Islam. That's more believable than Jews doing it. See, this is what I'm saying when, if you listen to what they're saying, clearly they don't know what the hell they're talking about. These they think called the Silk Road, right? From Timbuktu to Babylon. I mean, people traveled that for hundreds of years, for centuries. From Babylon to Timbuktu, Timbuktu is in West Africa. Babylon is in what we know as Baghdad today. So in between that is Israel. So the notion that someone from Israel didn't get on that road to travel out to West Africa to make some money for themselves and probably stay out there because it's good land is stupid. But we do know Arabs did it. So how Arabs make it all the way from the Middle East to Morocco, but I can't believe that Jews can make it from Israel, which is closer to West Africa. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me let me. Uh, I, I'm just saying if, if, if go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, just, I just want to say thanks for the call right. and uh, uh, just use your mind when you think about history and holistically. Thanks, man. Be All safe. Right. No problem. Thank you, brother. Oh, we got we got, we got a uh, man. I, I just <laughs> man, listen, I have people in here today. I have never hold on a second. <laughs> let me say this right. Shout out to JB, Margie Love. Shout out to CJO, Dre, Raphael. Uh, some of these people I, I see all the time, right? But it's brothers that I see in the chat today. I have never seen y'all ever before in my life, which means that I didn't stumbled on a whole new set of people. Cause you know, my content kind of went into the pro black arena. Now this Hebrew Israelite community, I didn't know y'all was, uh, as, as deep as this, uh, as it was. Until I until okay, who who watches? Let me just ask a question. Who watches the advice show and who watches the King Gonda episodes on the advice show? I want to know if anybody who watches uh the advice show uh ever saw King Gonda on there. All right, if you ever saw the King Gonda episode on the advice show, uh whether you guys knew that that's uh, the the King Gonda is me. I'm the I'm the creator of the King Gonda series on the uh, advice show. I don't know if you guys know that. So King Gonda is something that I created from Africa, which is my, my crew in Africa that I post on on the advice show. So so I'm the one that created that series. But I didn't know that um, so many Israelites didn't like Ken, the, 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 the Africans on the King Gonda show, man. And that's why I'm really doing this, because uh Man, y'all be killing uh uh the 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 commenters and stuff on on the, on the advice show, man. It's like half of the half of the commenters are Hebrew Israelites. So uh so that's why I wanted to do this. Uh, shout out to Phil, but uh yeah, man, the Israelites are y'all niggas deep. I'm I'm not gonna be talking shit about y'all because I don't want to get fucked up. So um, not be talking about y'all behind your back though. You know how niggas are. All right, let me go to four hundred seven. Four hundred seven, you on the air, brother? What's going on? Four hundred seven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 407, then 202. Okay, 407, you playing. Let me go to 202. 202, DC in the building. What's up? Hey, what's going on, Shay? How you feeling, brother? I'm doing pretty good, man. White man hold me back, brother, but you know, they can't hold me down, brother. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to hold me back, brother, but you know. <laughs> I won't let him, brother. You know how uh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, no doubt, man, no doubt. <laughs> I just want to come through, man, to represent for all the, the brothers, man, us so-called black people. Uh, the, the world would call me African-American, and I grew up like that. You know, I'm right here in D.C., man. But I understand the stuff that's going on with our people out here, man. It can't be nobody else to be the Israelites but us, man. Deuteronomy, the whole 28th chapter, goes into heavy detail the curses that would be all over these so-called black people, man. And one of them is, we're going to call ourselves black. That's an actual insult, man. Now, I'm not saying the insults are all black people because I'm, I'm a so-called black person. But I also know that there is no such thing as a black man. We got black clothes, black pants, black shirts. There's no such thing as a black man. We all got different shades of brown. Some real light, some real dark, okay? And that Deuteronomy 28 chapter says we would go back into Egypt, slavery on ships this time. Not physical Egypt, 
the spiritual Egypt, bondage. If you look on the back of your dollar bill, you wonder why that pyramid is on the back of there? That's the clue that the Most High God let the so-called white man put on there so brothers like us can talk about it and look at it and bring it out, man. We living in the modern day Egypt, modern day Sodom. This is our last captivity, brother. The curses are all over us, man. Brotherly love. We don't even have no brotherly love. That's one of the curses, man. He would give you an evil eye towards your brother. And that's so-called black people, man. Not us here in this manosphere and all that stuff. Thank God for the Negro manosphere. But the, you, most of the so-called black community, yes, sir. Most of the so-called black community, man, other brothers hate each other, man. And it's a, it's, a, it's a sad feeling I get on my heart, man, when I walk down the street and I see another brother and I know that he's the same ethnicity as me. But as soon as I see him, he's looking at me with disdain. He's looking at me with anger and hatred as if he wants to sometimes maybe rob me or kill me. And I'm not making this up, man. And I love black people. Don't You ain't going to find too many more Negroes that love black people more than me. I love my brother. I understand. That's what it's about. We got to start loving each other again. And I love what you got going on over here, man. I've, I've been a watcher of your show ever since you've been doing the Calypso organ, man. Oh, man. Thank <laughs> you, brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you for calling in. Same here. All right, man. Thanks me, for having me, brother. Yeah, no problem, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for calling in. Let me go ahead on. That's my DC brothers out there. Uh, who who did I get to, man? It's it's so many people, man. I, I, I talked to so many folks that I'm damn near dizzy. Um, well, listen, man, uh, I don't know if I need to change the Sunday rumble to this. Are African Americans African or Israelite? What up, Project Mayhem? Good to see my brother out there. That's that's my balling brother out there. Good to see you. Um, let me do some shout outs real quick, man. Uh, I guess I could talk back to some of the callers that are still holding. We still got seven in there, but I don't know. Should I make it? Should I make it? I, I gotta get a good I gotta get, but see, you can't have that show without having somebody on the opposite side of the points because the rumble is not a call-in show um so if i get feel from the uh, uh advice show to come in that might be a, a good stuff but you know the rumble panels you gotta have uh somebody like dynast on there you know i, I gotta have somebody like you know because sly is the aboriginal thinker and george making kind of in the middle so, you know, you got to get an ABL might not be on tonight. So basically, I'm going to see if I could change it to part two. So I'll tell you what, who is not subscribed to my O'Shea Duke Jackson broadcast, my O'Shea broadcast channel? I will change it if I get 300 likes right now. Tell you what, five minutes. I got 216. If you If y'all want me to change it, you got to do something for me, though. Right? And you got to have the people on there, you know what I mean, uh, 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 to debate it. You got to have people on the other side wanting to debate it. I got to have some people on the other side. People on the other side. Get Rhonda. Indigenous TV, brother, listen, hold on. You, you telling me to get somebody within one hour. I don't even know who this person. Y'all got to be. Listen, br brother, 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 calm down. Brother, brother, calm down. I don't even know these people, okay? My show starts in one hour. You're talking about I need to get the uh, I don't even know who they are. That's like me telling you to go get Anthony Hardaway to play on a, on your on your on your on your uh, uh, on your on your hoop team tomorrow night. I don't even know who that is, brother. All right. Y'all got to be realistic. I got a show in one hour. Thank you, brother JB. I might not be able to get him tonight. One day, brother. One day. OK, calm down, brother. Calm down. Just breathe, breathe again. Come on, <laughs> breathe again, breathe again. It's only you two. Cares been Israel? No, I no nigga, no brother, not not today. Your uh, internet was was struggling. Oh, okay, brother, you 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 have that. Uh, unfortunately, you were saying some good things, brother, but you can't be fucking up my show with that Nairobi internet. You're not gonna do that today, brother. You're not gonna be able to do that. All right. Because your internet was here and there and over. You was getting held back by the white men or the Hamites. I don't know who, but you was getting held back. You're not going to fuck my rumble up. Okay. My rumble, you can't have no 
Enter no struggle internet. You were saying some good stuff, brother, but we can't have that struggle internet on there tonight, brother. Okay, we this is a this is a high powered show, brother. The Sunday Rumble, brother. Okay, in uh, uh and, you know we we this is this is my all star show. Okay, you know you got and you got to have a lot of fuckery. You got to have fuckery on the Rumble. See all of that nice shit you niggas was talking tonight. You know you was talking all that hard science and indigenous and indigenous stuff. Okay. Uh, the the my my Sunday shows it got a quite a bit of fuckery and, and now I gotta be honest, okay, I gotta be honest. A a, a quite a, a, a deal. A, yeah, who heard my Sunday shows? Now uh, you gotta be you gotta you gotta be gotta be gotta, you gotta you gotta be. My Sunday shows got quite a bit of fuckery. Now Professor Mictow, he's a little bit he's a little bit too smart for that. I'm not saying we don't have smart people, but he his fuckery is not. He's not a fuckery person, okay? He he's a very bright person. Now that people on the rumble is bright, but your fuckery level got to be a little up there sometimes, right? Because you this is edutainment for Negroes. So uh, you, you know you 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 gotta you gotta you got got a little fuckery going on on the Sunday rumbles. But I'm gonna think about. I'm gonna see if I can get some people. I'm gonna change it up. I'll try to get you brothers in there. Hebrews versus uh, that'll be good. Hebrews versus AWS versus Pan African. Which one are we? Woo! Okay. Thank you, brother Terrence B. So we'll so meet me over on my uh, other show, RBR. Yes, you got to have him on there. So I'll tell you what. I'll change the topic. O'Shea Vlogcast Channel. Thank you, all you Hebrew Israelite brothers. Man, I didn't know y'all was out there like that. I thank you, brothers, for calling in. Uh, some of y'all have been following me for a long time. I want to give a shout out to. Uh, the uh, uh one of the brothers that been bringing um these communities uh, the one and only side netter he was the first person that i ever knew that brought the pro black communities together like that you know what i mean with the uh the 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 the, the aboriginal hebrew israelites the, the comedic people so i want to give a shout out to him because uh I, i'm not really in this territory but i will do it tonight so we'll change the topic see you brothers and sisters man over there on my plot on my channel o'shea broadcast in one hour one hour, what are we, ADOS, African, or Israelite? Peace out.